Howdy YouTube, this is Charles. And this is John. And unfortunately, this is about where the video's uh, gonna get really sad. Um, now those of you that have been following us for a while know that uh, Princess Frostbite has been a major part of everything we do, from our tiny house, to our city living, to our adventuring, and she was even going to go to Washington with us to meet uh, Larry's Adventures in Larry's Land in the micro tiny house. Um, Monday, uh, Monday of this past week, uh, Princess Frostbite had an aneurysm and died on the way going to the park. In her memory, we printed out some photos. We made this little book. to remember her by. It's really been hard, guys. Um, I'm a pretty antisocial person outside of John. Whenever John wasn't here, I had frostbite. And um, I don't really talk much about my past in the videos, but I had a really, really bad childhood. And um, like we're talking like on the level of like almost civil shepherd bad childhood and uh prior to princess frostbite i had samson samson lived to be 17 and we got princess frostbite when he in his last two years of life to kind of bring some life back into him uh unbeknownst to myself is the amount of life that the animals brought into me this is the first time I've not had a dog in the house in almost 23 years. And I'm having a really, really hard time with that. Above and beyond missing Princess Frostbite, um, I, she almost acted like a therapy animal for me. Like I, 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 I never realized how much anxiety reduction just having her in the house brought. It's hard for John because John, Princess was John's baby, and it was neither his dog or my dog. She was our dog. She loved both of us equally. There was no favorite, and um, people don't really usually understand when it comes to animals. They're a little less empathetic about that, but. Um, a pet, your dog, your cat, whatever pet you have, they love you unconditionally. And you don't really realize how intertwined they are into your everyday routine and every moment of your life until you don't have them anymore. And I think a huge message from this video to our subscribers should be to really cherish everything that you have in your life. Um, and if you're ever feeling unhappy or have little stressors that feel like a big deal or the end of the world, you really need to look at who's there right in front of you and appreciate that. I mean, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Um, and what John was saying was you don't understand how, um, how much presence they have above and beyond being woke up at eight o'clock in the morning with yowling, above and beyond hearing yelling at the door as we approach the house because of the sound of our vehicles if we've been gone more than three hours, above and beyond getting the last bite of every single piece of food we eat, owning a husky, the most devastating bit of it for myself was the immediate cessation of frostbite glitter everywhere. And what I mean by that is literally the day after she passed away, the shedding and all the fur in the house stopped. And five days later, there's no dust bunnies in the house. There's sofas not covered in hair. I'm not covered in hair. It's hard. Now to keep my mind off it, you might have seen in the last video, I was building a stereo cabinet for my records and my speakers. I finished that. Um, other than that, I haven't really been motivated to do shit. It's also, we've got really bad flooding here in Missouri. It's been really hot. Like the other day, it was like 107 with the heat index. It was insane. Um, it's cooler today. 
as you guys can see, 90 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Now our atomic top clock has a tendency to tell us um, heat index. It's usually on par with that. So it's probably really like 88 outside with a heat index of 90. So we're getting ready to take the canoe out and force ourselves to try to have a good time and we're gonna bring you guys along with this. I apologize in advance if we are not our normal John and Charles self because we are not. Um, this has been a huge tragedy um, for us. Now we do, we have them on our website more so for us uh, because we wanted them, but we also are observant of the fact that a lot of our subscribers and viewers uh, probably were also pretty attached to Princess Frostbite. We made a commemorative t-shirt uh, in loving memory of Princess Frostbite and we kind of, I designed it up kind of like the style of the kitty cats flying in outer space. Um, well, it's Princess Frostbite upside down being a ham in outer space. Um, so if you guys are interested, that's on our website. Uh, we, we don't really have any royalties on it. We're not making really any money off the t-shirts. So it's just strictly if you want to remember Princess Frostbite. So those are available on ourtinycabinproject.com if you're interested. Um, they're basically almost, they're like at cost. So we're not trying to make any money off Princess Frostbite because that would be unethical in my opinion. So we're gonna go ahead and head outside. Yep. So stay tuned. Here's the boat on top of the car. I'm just gonna check, make sure my uh, all my bow lines and stern lines are tight and the gun walls are tight. We just drove about a mile from the house. I bought this system online. It comes with these lines. I added the carabiner. Just check. Yep, that's good and tight. And use cam straps on the top. Make sure these are tight and pushed in. One on the back. Seems tight. That one is a little loose. I still, I don't go over 55, 60 with this on the roof um, because the boat does have a curve down in it. So it kind of helps with the air getting up under there. Air does get up under there. Um, these are aftermarket uh, pieces. As you can see, I already lost a uh, thing. Great. No! He just wants in the water. Watch out for the camera. Thank you. 